Well, Ruben, the dust has settled from what could be described as quite an emotional game at Torquay at the weekend. Mm. We'll, we'll talk about the big incident involving you um, shortly, but just what sort of a game was that to play in? Uh, away at Torquay is never easy. You can see from, from the start, um, we were, they had a kick-off, Mecca tried to press their defender, and they just started with an elbow at Mecca and just dropping him on the floor. So at that moment, we of course, we already knew uh, what was going to happen. We had to be patient and be, be smart and um, yeah, we had to go there and uh, work harder than them. And at the end of the day, uh, we, we got a deserved win, yeah. Yeah, we had that disappointment shortly before half time, which we quickly turned around. A brilliantly worked uh, penalty win involving you and Aaron Domain, and you were ice cold from the spot once again, Ruben. Uh, yeah, to be fair, at home, we, uh, I got a penalty against them, and I was like, is the keeper going to know my routine again, the stop? And he fell for it again, so I just could put it anywhere other than where he was going. And uh, the way we won the penalty is, is a routine that me and uh, Aaron and Main have been doing quite, quite a lot of times this season. So yeah, it's, 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 it's good that it's working. So, on to the red card. It's one of the most probably talked about decisions, one of the yeah. most controversial, debated decisions that we've had this season. Tell us from your point of view what was going through your mind at the time when the alleged foul took place. Uh, when when I saw him putting the red card up, I, I just felt uh, a bit ashamed because I let the team down, I uh, embarrassed because you know it's never nice to be in a position to be sending off, even though it's not your fault. At the end of the day, it's a decision that he made. Um, but yeah, looking back at it, uh, it's just a lot of frustration from my side because. The first yell, I just jump off the way and he like dives. And then it's like the first foul I think the whole team made. And then I get a yellow card. And and then if I look back, that number seven, he just, he had he was on a yellow. And then he kicked me from behind twice. And he warned him twice. So I was like, it's not really, it's really frustrating for my side because, yeah, it's never nice to pick up a yellow. But I'm, I'm really glad that the team, uh, dig deep and uh, got the win in the end. Take us into that dressing room as you go off, was it about on, on the hour mark or so, was uh, it? And 65, yeah. Take us into that dressing room where you're, I guess, in sitting on your own in there. What, what, what are the thoughts running through your head at that uh, point? It's just, I don't know, it's just frustration. Uh, having to, to tell my, to, to know that my, my family is, of course, watching. They, of course, feel a bit, oh, it's not nice, of course, when their family member gets a red card and let the team down. So uh, I wasn't even allowed to get out of the dressing room. So I was just, of course, I'm it's nervous because you still have to win the game and I'm in there and I can't hear the fans really much. So I'm, I'm constantly asking Lewis, like, what's going on? Lewis Salim, the kit man. So I'm constantly asking, like, what's going on? How long is left? And then I just got on my phone and scrolled through. And then my, my brother, my younger brother, they were watching it live. So I just was in a conversation with him about the game and how is it going? But uh, yeah, I just showered and got ready for when the team was there so that I just can hug them and thank them really, yeah, that's what I did. How happy were you when you found out it was a win at the end? Amazing, it's, it's winning away at Torquay is never easy and uh, to do it with 10 men the last 25 minutes is a bit, it makes it a bit more tension. So uh, I, was, I, was, I was buzzing, yeah, and I just appreciated everyone. I'm sure you're devastated to be missing Chesterfield at the weekend. Obviously, it's one of the most mm. eagerly anticipated matches for fans and players alike, especially the away game where there's yeah. that full away end uh, every season. Um, just tell us how you feel in sort of a couple of days after the realization that you won't be playing in that game. Uh, it's it's annoying, really. It's it's a it's a game that uh, you look up to as in the start of the season. Those games are the one you live for, the one you play the game for, and. Um, it's also like uh, the second time we have to go there because it's, it should have been played already. So it's even a bit more frustration from my end. But at the end of the day, I'm, 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 I'm sure it's, uh, it's going to be a good game still without me, yeah. We heard the manager speak really passionately after full time at Torquay about the impact that not only the subs that came on had on the game, but also the mm. subs that were still on the bench yeah. in terms of driving the team on. That's going to be your role this week, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. you know, obviously, you'll be wanting to keep yourself sharp for future games, but you, this week, have a role to get around the lads and encourage them into the weekend. Yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a new role. And I've, uh, like the Gaffer said, uh, 
you know, like a Frank Vincent and Jim O'Brien, Edward Francis, uh, who haven't played lately, they, they, the behind the scenes that they are doing, like the, the driving training, the every time, make it take, letting us be on our toes and all of that. So um, I'm just going to motivate the players and the new players that come in that need to know to understand how big this game is for the fans and how important it is for them. So just encourage them really yeah, to, um, to a good game, yeah. And you'll be at the game, presumably, cheering the boys on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be with, uh, hopefully, with Jason Turner and uh, with yourself there up there. So uh, I'm gonna, of course, cheer them on, yeah, from there. And just in general, this season for you, you know, how much are you enjoying it? How much are you enjoying continuing to work with Luke and his stuff? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just more fun every time uh, when you step on the pitch today as well. After the meeting, he just got me uh, one on one, and he just really appreciated like. How, because a, a game against Torquay, you need a bit of courage because they come again on you. So he just really like, um, like say, uh, well done for your the courage you had because every time you had the ball, you were trying to create something. And uh, he's always like nice and those little things, you know, the little things that that no one really sees. He's there to appreciate you with them. So it's a uh, it's a good it's a it's a good manager and we got a good connection. Yeah, that goal tally's creeping up as well. It's a lot of penalties, it's a lot of penalties, but at the end of the day, a goal is a goal and uh, yeah, I take them. You need to consider the importance of those penalties. Without yeah. your coolness from the spot in the last two games, we wouldn't have had the mm. six points that we've got. True, so uh, no, nah, uh, I'm happy that, uh, that I, I'm allowed to take the penalties because of course, if you've got a striker like Mecca who's on 20, 24 goals, of course, every striker wants to score goals and for him to still let me take the, the penalties gives me a lot of confidence, yeah. A bit of a different week ahead for you, Ruben, but we know you'll work as hard as ever and you'll get around the lads and be a massive support for them. A big game on Saturday. Thanks yes. for catching up with us. Thank you.